How we doing folks? Gonna do a little tractor walk around, show you what we have in stock right now. Well, some of these tractors are sold, but we're gonna go really quick through all this stuff, give you an idea of what's in stock right now as of November 2nd, 2023. So if you're watching in the future, more than likely it changes, but this gives you kind of an idea of the kind of equipment that we're carrying. Now in general, well, we do have a lot of coyote right now. We got a lot of coyote going on. I've been leaning into that pretty hard and I'm gonna show you something pretty cool here a little bit later in the video as well. I just like them, man. I mean, with the pandemic and all the prices going crazy, deer and Kubota are getting sky high on a lot of their prices and it's good to have another reliable tractor company that's, in my mind, when I took a year off or a couple years off or whatever the heck it was and then started selling tractors again, Coyote was always kind of on that threshold, just not quite big enough. And I think now they're there for me to want to buy them and resell them and kind of roll them into the portfolio. So um, that's what you see a lot of here. Now, the idea for me is typically 300 hours and less. There's exceptions to every rule, but I like the 300 hours and less. Um, this kind of like just a, just a general threshold, not because I think above 300 hours on a tractor means it's anywhere near the end of its usable life. It's still near the beginning of its usable life, but it's just a, this is an hour mark that I've picked. So anyway, um, this first one, actually you can show them that hustler there. This, this hustler is actually sold. I uh, just got, just got paid for. So uh, this one's going to be on the road and out of here. Generally, I don't sell zero turns. I actually bought this one uh, for myself. And then right afterwards, I found the machine I wanted to actually mow, which is a Toro uh, Groundmaster 4100, I think it is. Anyway, for my house, I got a lot of acres to mow out there. So I bought this one, just sold it, that kind of thing. Just got in this 2038R. Now we are going to put a brand new seat on here. That's the thing about these John Deere seats is a lot of them kind of, they don't hold up well. So we got a brand new seat. Go to trackseats.com to get your seats. Save a lot of money compared to going to John Deere and get them uh, the OEM that way. And you can save 5% with code GWT. This guy here, Coyote NX6010, all right? This is gonna be actually both of these tractors. Here's a nice look actually at a cab tractor and an open station tractor of the NX series by Coyote. Easiest way to compare this is to the John Deere 4 Series, all right? So, um, you know, like your John Deere 4044R, 4052R, 4066R, all that kind of thing. You know, horsepower will vary here and there a little bit, um, but tire size, frame size. Now, we've done some other videos, and I'm sure we'll do some more maybe on one of these machines too, comparing specs, like lift capacity, um, different features that come standard on there you know, three-point lift capacity, loader lift capacity, loader lift height, and other things that, well, so you can kind of have a better understanding side by side of, of what they do compared to a John Deere or compared to a Kubota. And then the big factor I think that comes into play is the, the price point, you know, how much you're paying for um, these tractors versus the John Deere's and the Kubota's. And I like to juxtaposition it, right? You don't, I'm not knocking Deere and Kubota because you know, they're big dogs for a good reason. They have a, a well-known reputation. They're easy for resale. Um, they're reliable. They have a lot of good features, but it's good to have competition to kind of keep manufacturers on their toes. And Coyote is a strong contender for that. So a lot of folks out there that watch love the Coyotes and, and um, I can see why. Here's the open station. This is an NX4510. All right, this is hydrostatic as well. They do make this one in, uh, in, a, in a shuttle shift or like a power reverser type uh, transmission too. But this one's actually a brand new leftover demo. So you see the nubs and everything still on the tires here. Beautiful, nice, clean machine. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see this. You see that mirror right there, Chris? Let me get around you. Never seen this before. Honestly, never seen this. Didn't even notice it here. This tractor actually just showed up today. So, um, look at that. Review mirror built in. There's not on the other side, but that's that's pretty slick. I like that. Yeah, I've seen this on a few tractors down here. I don't, I'm not, I see this. I don't know how valuable that is or not, but it's there. Full warranty on this one. It's never been registered, so the... The person that buys it will be able to just register it with Coyote and take advantage of that. Now going down to, this is not their subcompact. We did a full a full length video on this tractor, but this is a, a step up. 
So it's like the smallest compact you can get, the CX series. This tractor just sold today, actually. Uh, beautiful machine. That, that was a good one. That's, this, is, this kills that 2025R. Uh, this was actually another one that had was a, a new demo, leftover demo with full warranty. So paint is faded on it a bit. You get beyond that though, you get a tractor with, with full warranty. I mean, who cares, right? So you get it at a discounted rate. That's a CK series tractor, sitting next to another CK series tractor too. These CK tractors are nice. Um, a little bit smaller than like a John Deere 3R or a Kubota, like a Grand L 3560. A little bit smaller than that, but bigger than like a Kubota LX, bigger than a John Deere 2032. So they're kind of just their own little world of tractors and a nice size, a really nice size. Uh, this is a 2610, I believe it is. This one actually already sold, just sold last week on, on Friday a few days ago. But I'm loving it. I think people are seeing the value that you can get with these machines. It's more bang for the buck. So here's a Kubota. I don't often get them in without loaders on them. I do once in a while. This is a local tractor set up with this uh, plow. It had kind of a quick hitch on here and a guy that owned it put a new Holland plow on here and, and fabbed it up to fit. Um, hydraulic angle and all that. So this hood scratched up a bit, but it's fully functional, right? It's not really even, it's not really even dented. It's just scratched up. Like they rested a bunch of chains on here or something, you know, I don't know. But um, full cab air heat this one is still available rim guard in the rear tires which helps for pushing that snow i'd put a versa bracket in some suitcase weights in the back though and so in this guy here we got a lot of dk series coyotes and those have been a popular one um <laughs> we're getting close i'm gonna i, I got a, a dk to show you here in, in a minute you're gonna like but this one has rim guard in the tires when you're shopping for tractors, if you can see the sticker down here, show them that sticker there, Chris. Even if you can't like see what it says, if you can see a sticker like that by a valve stem, more than likely it's rim guards. That means these tires are filled with rim guard for extra ballast. Of course, they're our channel sponsor, and for good reason. I think every tractor should have rim guard in it for safety. Um, not to keep tooting the horn of Coyote, but the fact that these loaders can lift substantially more weight than the comparable John Deere's and Kubota's, even though they're heavier machines, if you can lift more weight than the loader, it's that much more likely you could tip it over. So it's even more important to have more ballast weight in the back end to be safe and planted on the ground. Beautiful tractor. I, I love these DKs, man. You get a lot of bang for your buck, just a ton of bang for your buck. We've done some in-depth reviews, but full cabs on here. Everything's solid and put together well. Steel hoods, just comfortable operator stations. Check out those in-depth videos we've done. So this is, this is a good one here though. You can see the DK series and a John Deere 3R, all right? This is a 3039R. Now this has ag tires on it. Ag tires generally sit a little bit taller than an R4 tire. Well, these are a comparable frame size machine, all right? And I think visually, you know, you look at the loaders, you look at like the, the hood height, you look at the, the width, all that kind of stuff. You can see how they visually line up to be in the same class of the same series. Like they're competing head to head. You can of course get the 3R in a cab tractor as well. You can get the DK in an open station. So you can get the configurations set up the same way, but you're paying, you're paying a lot less for the Coyote than you are for the deer and you're getting more capability. But again, Deer's got that reputation. I, I used to own a 30, 46 hour open station and I loved it. It was a great machine. And this one will serve somebody well too. Oh, we did throw a brand new bucket on here though. These John Deere's, um, their standard duty buckets are not the most robust bucket I've ever seen. And so it was wrinkled up pretty good. So we threw a new HLA bucket on here. This is HLA's compact bucket, all right? We sell these buckets standalone, right? If you need to get a new bucket for your for your tractor. This is their compact bucket, which is comparable to being a heavy duty bucket from John Deere. <laughs> very, very stout, got a reinforced plate underneath here, reinforced side walls, uh, pre-drilled for a, a bolt-on cutting edge. They're a nice bucket, really nice. So if you're looking for a replacement, we can give them a skid steer quick attach, John Deere quick attach and all that. So this is a big coyote, all right? So this one is six years old. 2017 it's got a little bit a little bit of paint fade but not much i mean it's 
it's really just kind of a lighter shade of orange. Nice tractor, only about 250 hours, give or take. R4 tires, okay? This is comparable to like a my Kubota M4, if you watch my channel. My M4 D071, but this is a 66 horsepower. It's the RX 6620. Um, Self-leveling loader on there. That's what this extra contraption is here. Skid steer quick attach bucket. Big old, big old hoss. Got the like the power reverser transmission. Set up with a backhoe on here too. This is a rare find. You don't see many in this size that have uh, a setup like this with the backhoe. This thing purrs like a kitten too. What do you think about that cab, Chris? Uh, Spacious? It looks super roomy, actually. Yeah, a lot of room in there. That'll fit a big guy. That's a, that's a common question with folks is, uh, you know, what, what tractor will fit me? I'm a, I'm, a big, I'm a big dude. Oh, so this guy that owned it, here, let me show you this, Chris. Come back here. You guys are probably wondering what the heck this thing is for. The uh, older gentleman that owned it, yeah, a lot of you guys make, make your own custom whatever's for tractors and that's what this guy did too so he has this little bar here little storage spot for it so if he had to change out his uh his bucket to a set of forks or something else he cut these down a little bit because they had like a kind of like a big bulb on the end and then he could just put this on here you know to use the leverage oh get it back off can i get it off there we go to to rock those things off and uh, get the skidster quick attach undone Guys are always coming up with custom stuff, you know. All right, let's wander to the other side, huh? So we, well, when I bought this facility, I didn't really have, I wasn't selling tractors at the time. And so we've been trying to find a natural home to put all the tractors and we don't really have that figured out yet. So they're kind of just all over the place. I'm still up in the air debating whether or not to buy this lot next to us and expand. You know, clear it out and put gravel down and fence it in and lights and everything else. And it's just such a, well, sometimes I just need to slow my roll. Uh, both of these tractors are sold. This one's going out any, any day now. Here, here's a good look. We did this customer install. Four port hydraulic multiplier on the back of this, all right? So you can see this down here This that my hand's on, this was the rear remote that was on the tractor. So if you have a rear remote like this, you can turn that one remote into four rear remotes, all right? You might think that's crazy, but if you add on a hydraulic top link and a hydraulic side link, that hogs up two, okay? Each two outlets is one remote, so that would take up all that. And then if you had like a hydraulic snowblower, which this customer is getting, hydraulic shoot rotation, hydraulic deflector, well, right there, you're at, you're at all four remotes that are taken up. So it can add up really quick. You can actually get six remotes on one of these if you want to got one with the six remotes on the back of my Kubota M4. It, they're not expensive. You can get all these for like the price of having the dealer install one extra remote back here. You can do it yourself in a couple of hours. It's a, it's a sweet way to go about it. Oh yeah, Chris says, remind you, save 5% with code GWT at Summit Hydraulics on hydraulic multipliers, on third function kits, on hydraulic top and tilt kits, on hoses and fittings. Anything that you need hydraulically, basically, for your tractor, go there, save 5%. Uh, this tractor is sold, okay? This is a, we actually have three Coyote DK6010s on the lot. This one is sold. Two more just showed up this morning, though. Uh, this one's going out to a customer. And in fact, let's just skip right to it. On that note, I bought a Coyote DK6010 for myself. This one in the middle here. All three of these tractors are, are Coyote DKs as well. I struggle with buying and selling things because I want to keep a machine for myself and then I can't say no when somebody wants to buy it. And so I've done that like three or four times already with Coyotes and so I went out and bought a brand new one and I'm making payments on it because it'll just make it harder. It's like another barrier for me to make it harder to sell. Not that I couldn't, but the idea is that way I can have one of these machines around. Basically, I went all in on Coyote because I really do believe in them. So I'm putting my, my own money where my mouth is too. And I want to show you guys something new um, long-term, you know, and, and show different size attachments. I haven't really had a tractor like this size on the channel. It is, it's 58 horsepower, you know, so it's close to being the same horsepower as my 4066R and the 4720. 
but it's a smaller frame size. Um, it's again, it'd be like a 3046R, but with a lot more horsepower and a lot more lift capacity. So it's just going to be a beast. I'm super excited. This literally just delivered like three hours ago. I haven't even driven it. I haven't even sat in it yet. Chris sat in it. I haven't sat in it. So there's some things I added on it and some things I didn't. Like I added the second rear remote because it was really cheap for them to do. I added the telescoping lower links and the, um, well, these are stabilizer arms, I guess. And then the telescoping end links, I added both of those. Okay, those are cheap. I added a rear wiper on here, made sure I got it with the R14 tires. I may end up widening these tires, may not, but I didn't get the third function because I want to show you guys installing an aftermarket third function from Summit Hydraulics. I'm still going to put a hydraulic multiplier on here. I'm going to add liquid ballast from Rimguard into the rear tires. I'm going to put wheel weights on here. I'm going to do a lot of things myself, right? Because I'm a tractor dealer and aftermarket tractor dealer and I want to show you this stuff too. So you'll see a lot of install stuff on here and you'll see a lot of projects too with uh, new tools. I'll use a lot of I think 72 inch tools like land planes and uh, snow pushers and whatever else. I don't even know how wide this is. I think it's about you can make it I think you can make it six foot wide if you want. It's a little bit narrow now because it's got the adjustable hubs. Anyway a lot to come on here. I just I I'm smitten with Coyote, so I, I got one for myself, and, and I'm glad I did. I, I can't wait to use it, especially this winter, too. So um, anyway, this guy here, another DK, just got this one, a DK 4710, yeah, so 47-ish horsepower. Same concept as the other ones. Don't want to bore you with all the same details, but look, this one's, this one's used, right? But look, I mean, they still got... Still got plastic on the seat and on some of the fenders and everything else these are all low R machines you can get the the details the specs the hours on our website too this one have um one of them has a, a third function on it but it's not this one i think it's the one on the other end but this one has they all come standard with a rear remote all right that's another thing john deere and kubota don't do all got a rear remote standard this external three-point control see make that go down if it was on you can make it go back up right with that control as well uh so this one is a dk 6010 yes yeah dk 6010 here this one does have the third function on it is this door unlocked nope this door is locked but you can see the joystick there it's got the third function on there again they're all going to have this uh the skidster quick attach buckets Nice buckets too. These are more similar to the HLA, that one that I showed you earlier, you know, like a reinforced bucket, pre-drill for the tooth bars, you know, the top rails reinforced, the side, the sides are reinforced too. Just a nice, just a nice bucket. They really are. I love the, the loader joystick operation on here as well. So show them on inside there. Got plastic on the seat there too. Yeah, I'm not joking around. These are nice low hour tractors. These are the real deal. This showed up a couple hours ago. We'll get it cleaned up. Not that it's dirty. I mean, got some dirt on the on the floor. That's about it, though. Well, I might as well show you this guy too. <laughs> so, I went full bore. I found a screaming deal on this Kubota. I did not buy the black tracked Kubota. I just couldn't do it. I wanted to, but I just just couldn't do it. But I did get a Kubota M5 111, and so that's what you see right here. Another brand new one. I got a heck of a deal, though. But um, didn't put a third function on. We're going to put the Summit third function on here, too. Put a multiplier on. Get rim guard in the tires. So this guy, show him those rear wheels I was telling you about, Chris. So these are cast iron on here, all right? Now, you can get them on the Kubota M4 as well. This costs a lot more, but this adds, they were telling me, like 450, 500 pounds per side of weight so that's a big deal you know for your counterweight i honestly didn't care if it had a loader or not but this one came with a loader i don't know how often i'm going to use that i did add on a triple stack i added on a rear wiper added on a buddy seat i can't remember there might have been something else i added to but same thing i'd been itching to make that change from the Kubota M4. So we went, this is as big as I could go, right? And still use the attachments that I sell. And the idea is I, I want it. I like to show something different. I just want to show you guys something different. I don't want you to get bored and see the same thing over and over. And 
you can still relate to using the tool just with a different size tractor. Um, you know, between this and the Coyote, I still got the 1025R. I think I'm still going to keep that. I kind of have this thing with cabs, with air conditioning and heat, and that's the downside on the 1025R. Those subcompacts, just in general, you can't get a cab with uh, with AC on there. But yeah, another nice machine here. Um, I do think we've got. I feel like, well, we can show you some attachments while we're walking around here. I think I've got a 2032R with a loader. There's um, there's the 445 garden tractor. It's got a, a plow and a mower and a loader. Like 199 hours on that, that's for sale. Oh yeah, look at this too. So we're just starting to get a lot of snowblowers in. Show them that sticker right there. MK Martin Snowblowers, seven year residential warranty. Seven years, that's insane. Absolutely insane, unreal, I, I think it is. That's a long warranty. Got a few mowers and stuff left, not a lot though. Oh, where is that guy? I thought we still had one parked back here. Yeah, it's still over here. Got a 2032R, I got two 2032Rs. One's here and one's not yet. Loaders and mowers, and as far as I can tell, these are the absolute cheapest ones that you're gonna find for the hours online. Oh look, this one's got a couple extra goodies on it too. We got the uh, the single point hydraulic connection on here. Okay, really nice, that's sharp. Have the mulch kit down on the deck. This is a 60 inch deck, I do believe, should say on this side. 60 inch deck. Got the fender, fender flares. These are not standard, those are to add on as well. Yeah, these are good machines, I like them. The only thing I don't like about um, this series is I wish, and it's not a big deal to everybody, it's just me, right? I like to tell you the good and the bad, but I wish it would have had a three range transmission. It's just got a high and a low. Not the end of the world, but good machine, very capable. These feel stable. I don't think this one has any, any spacers on it. Oh, it does, it does have spacers on it. This one, this is the one that had spacers, yeah. So it's got, I think these are two inch spacers on this one too. It's just a, this is a, this is a nice, nice machine right here actually. What's this one have on it for hours? 100, 100, well, 112 hours, 111.9 hours. This will make somebody a really nice tractor. Anyway, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Try to do this every once in a while when we can get a complete turnover or maybe like an 80% turnover and show you a bunch of new machines. It's fun to see. You know, it's tough to always get to a dealer lot and a lot of dealer lots don't have a lot of used tractors on them, so we're fairly unique. I mean, there's there's certain places out there that do, but uh, hard to find videos. So anyway, it's a lot of fun to do this. I hope you appreciated it. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it's a better term. I appreciate having the opportunity to show you. If you want to get more details on the tractors, go to goodworkstractors.com. If you want to get tractor attachments, or maybe put a package together with a tractor and attachments, we can do all that stuff, and we can ship it all right to you. That's all we do here. We do tractors and tractor attachments and ship the stuff out. Thanks for taking time out of your day to follow along, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.